Now at five. I want justice, you know, for my daughter and for everybody that was involved. The first arrest is made months after gunfire breaks out at a banquet hall. I'm grateful to the, uh, uh, the police department, for the detectives. Tonight, police get their first break in a deadly mass shooting. Three people died and 20 others were hurt in the shooting at the El Mula Banquet Hall Memorial Day weekend. And while police say he was not a shooter, his arrest is bringing some comfort to the victims' families. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live tonight in Northwest Miami-Dade. Peter. Well, Lauren, Miami-Dade police are hoping the arrest of Devontae Barnes will lead to the capture of the gunman. They say Barnes confessed to meeting with the gunman beforehand and being their lookout after driving here in his mother's car. Now, we learned in court that if convicted, he could face a death penalty. 22-year-old Devontae Barnes faces a judge following this May 30th shooting at the El Mula Banquet Hall that left three people dead and 20 others wounded. Sir, you were arrested for three counts of first-degree murder and 20 counts of attempted first-degree murder. I think it's right. I think it's accurate. You know, I think, you know, hey, you, whether you pull the trigger or not, you know, if you was involved in it, then it's consequences for your actions. Rodney Thomas's daughter, Khadidra, was wounded in the shooting in which these three gunmen in black ski masks were seen getting out of their stolen white Nissan Pathfinder. Miami-Dade police say Barnes was their lookout. I'm looking to get him a lawyer. I would like for uh, a conviction. I would like for him, you know, I want justice, you know, for my daughter and for everybody that was involved. The club had been hosting a release party for a local rap artist. More than 100 bullet casings were found at the scene. The shooting took the lives of 32-year-old Shaniqua Peterson and two 26-year-old men, Clayton Dillard III and Desmond Owens, a father of two small children whose mother spoke to us. I just feel that no parent should have to bury a child. That, that's, that's it. No parent should have to bury a child. Judge Mindy Glazer found probable cause in Barnes's case. I'm happy. I'm, I'm grateful to the, uh, uh, the police department, for the detectives that took this thing personal and, and put the effort in, put the work in, and, uh, and, and, and caught these guys. Well, caught one of them so far. But the rest of them going to come to me. They catch the rest of them too. Police have not said who was being targeted or what the motive was. To the public, if you do know something, I, you know, I came up in the hood. So I, I know I know the mentality of it. It's really time to change and do what's right, you know, uh, for everybody that's involved in, into it and the people that lost loved ones and uh, had loved ones hurt. I would encourage you, if you know something, to say something. Now, Devontae Barnes is being held without bond right now and will face an arraignment within the next 21 days. If you can help Miami-Dade police with this case, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. There's a big reward in this case, $30,000. We are live in Northwest Miami-Dade. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.